come on. I don't normally start solo spacing up stage. I have a big correction here. Just fix it, Sam. Filming with the one and the only, Abby Lee Miller. Yeah! Hi Sam. Hi Tegan. Abby has her own YouTube channel, so make sure you go check it out. She has some amazing content on there, and be sure to subscribe once you're there. She also holds virtual dance and acrobatic classes every single week, so if you want to learn from the best, this is your opportunity. We're going to leave all those details in our description box below. Abby's going to be watching and critiquing our old dance competition solos. And then at the end, she's going to let us know who she would give first place to and who the runner-up would be. So, Abby, pick one twin. In Abby's eyes, second is the first to lose. Just second. This close, and you blew it. I don't like being second. You didn't win. And what is second? First to lose. None of us want to come second, no. <laughs> like, I'm actually scared. It was so hard to pick a solo that was, like, the most perfect or the one that I wanted to show because I feel like you're so self-critical when you're watching yourself on yeah. video dance because you can see everything in a video. Good luck. Bring it on. Just about to critique your solos. Abby, here are our solos. Now, I know these are older. But still, here we go. This is Sam. Sam, you better watch out. Guys, the songs you're about to hear with our solos are definitely not the ones we actually use. We can't use them because of copyright reasons, so enjoy the weird ones that we chose. Spotty front walk covers are beautiful. I'm not going to be able to say too many bad things about the acrobatic training. Come on. It's amazing. I don't normally start solo spacing up stage. I just don't. But then she did the little kind of a rumba booty shake there. So it was perfect to be facing up stage. <laughs> Round off back answering back layout, back answering back layout. Right out of the gate. Beautiful. Great. There's a bottom to the right. Whack! Right there, the legs there, the hips under, it's turned out. But the foot's a little floppy. Spotting side aerials. I just talked this yesterday. I, I can't believe you just did that. Oh, I need to keep the copy of this. Saw a little buckle in that backfall desk on that right knee. Just a little bit of a break. I would start with the tucked position and do a devil pay back walk over. Okay, she did a cartwheel, which I don't know if we needed, to an aerial round off, right into a straddle jump. Boom. These are difficult tricks. Spotting walkovers, spotting side aerials, and now the aerial round off. Changing splits on the hand walks, and then she does the lift her arm up, drop to the split. I haven't taught that trick in a long time. I'm going to be teaching that on Saturday. Thank you. There's some crazy tumbling going on. Something to like a front toss down to the floor into the Valdez again, and we see the same bad knee. Sam, come on. But now she's doing some crazy stuff. Twisting back handspring to a head spring. Good girl. She's slowing it down. Nice control. Amazing musicality on that. I love the facial expressions. Handstand, 
drop to the elbows, drop to the chin. One of my favorite tricks, tough to do in a routine, especially at the end. There's the feet under the chin. Great alignment. Oh, like this job. Beautiful height flight on the chasse side rooms. I have a big correction here, Sam. So the chest rolls. You're holding your ankles, you're doing chest rolls. You're obviously not a little kid here. I mean, you're younger, but you're not eight year old, so it's hard to do. Why is your head facing the back instead of the front? When you do your chest rolls and you turn your head to the side, look at the judges. Just fix it, Sam, come on. Whoa. Kip up, roll down, kip up, roll down, kip up, roll down. Turning around to face the front to the straddle. That was impressive at the end of the routine. And the smile, it never wavers. I don't know if you want or not, but an amazing routine. The level of difficulty is off the charts. Take my corrections. <laughs> Fix them. Tegan is up next. All right, Tegan, here we go. I'm getting Oh, she's in a beautiful perched chin stand. Chills when they tell me you're not yourself. Trying to move. Great emotion right off the top. Great pointed feet. Oh, 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 oh. When you flick your knees and your hand walks, your knees are open a little bit. Get them together. Such strength in her legs. Oh, the picture of you cuts like a knife. Amazing control in the handstand. She pulls it back as she overarches and drops the legs. Whatever they call us, whatever. Nice devil pay. Running in circles, circle off the loose. Whatever we oh. will. To a chest roll. That's really good control to not bang your knees on the floor. Into whatever they call Probably the simplest thing she does in the dance, but I find it the best thing, is when she just rolls around to stand up, but her arms are lifted, her back is straight, and she never slouches or flexes her feet or is lazy getting off the floor. That's, that's great teaching here. Great flight on the side area. And your poor sister's killing herself doing sparring side area. Aerial front walk over to toe under split. That's a great trick. One thing I see a lot of people do, and I don't do it, uh, but she just did it here, is you needle that leg, but it's not the split to the audience. It's not like on false, it's not open. Really turn that front foot out when you turn around on stage. All the picture of you will catch like a knife. Whatever they call us, whatever. Round off back handspring, back handspring, back pipe. It was beautiful. And again, so feminine and effortless. Kip up to toes, under to knee roll to, oof, that was a lot. The spotting front walkovers, uh, I was gonna comment, the transition out of the spotting front walkovers into the next trick, you kinda change directions abruptly. Then you do a handspring pike down to the straddle, but you do it out of a twist.
twisting that handspring, I think. You want me to critique this? And you just did a round off twisting back handspring, Rosemont to the floor, like in a straddle? That's, nobody does this. Nobody dances like this, except your sister. press all the way up, you overarched it, held it all the way back down, and yet remain feminine, pretty. Pretty. And there it is. Back handspring, back handspring, back handspring, shoot through split. Oof. Beautiful, bravo. I feel like Tegan, I have less comments on her and certainly less corrections. But if we went through it and really broke it down, I think that Sam did a lot more tricks, a lot more tumbling and uh, not as much dancing. I think Tegan did more dancing, just slower paced and uh, it's tough to judge, you know, you're not judging an apple on an apple, it's like an apple and cotton candy. Both girls are amazing. You're brilliant dancers. You have excellent training. Your mother is a wonderful, wonderful acrobatic teacher. Not many people do acrobatics like this. You know, it's not contortion. It's not circus stuff. It's not tumbling gymnastics. It's not cheer gym. It's truly acrobatics. Pick a winner. How do I pick a winner? Come on. That's crazy. They both have excellent technique. The choreography is so difficult in Sam's. Tegan's dance is more my style, what I would teach, but if I was judging them in a competition, I would have given them both a 99, because there's always one for improvement. If you want a winner, you're gonna have to find a different judge. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Comment down below if you would like us to do this again with Abby, but maybe with a different solo. Comment down below what genre. Just not tap, we don't really have tap solos. We, don't really, we didn't really do tap solos, you did one back in the day. Never got a video. <laughs>